All right, so you try speaking for 10 minutes and see what happens when you really know something, you know? So anyway, um, there's some, there's a very big aspect that I did not, I, I, you know, I pre-planned this in my head while I was walking, but I didn't write anything down. So I forgot to tell you, how does the Necronomicon apply to you? Necronomicon, Necronomicon, okay, is the science of death, and you know what? You are living death. You are living death every day because your cells die every day. Your cells die every day. They're sloughing off and regenerating every day. Now, you're going to ask, well, how do we end up dying? It's because our electromagnetic field, our, our bioelectromagnetic field is so dense and gets so low because we've been eating low vibrational foods that have no electrical um, no electrical regenerating energy in it, uh, you know, if, if you ate purely, if you ate in a pure way, you would live longer, like from birth to death, and if you, you know, cut out a lot of stuff that we, we get exposed ourselves to, but so, anyway, all right, anyway, you are Necronomicon because that is the science of how your body works. You cut yourself, right? You get a cut. What happens? The, it black it blackens up. It gets crusty, right? That's death. That's the 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 death of the cells, right, in that area. And then what does it do? It grows over with soot or melanin. And then it creates a scab, which is where you, which is coming from. The word scab, the ancestors let me know that that's coming from the word scarab. The scarab beetle is the icon, the um, animal deity for Necronomicon, for rebirth, okay? I'm saying Necronomicon, but it's the same thing. It's life, birth, death, rebirth. And in order to re be reborn, you have to have destruction. So anyway, let's go back, boys and girls. What happens when you cut yourself? Oh, I cut myself. Oh, I fell. I skinned my knee. What happens, boys and girls? Oh, teacher, you get a scab. There, I call it a scab. It gets all black and crusty, teacher. It gets all black and crusty. Yes, and we call that a scab. Now, boys and girls, in Egypt, there's a, there's a little insect called a scarab. And he represents life, birth, death, and rebirth. And your skin gets reborn again. Yeah, teacher, maybe after a week or maybe two weeks, teacher, you know what happens? That scab comes off, teacher, and there's new skin under there. There's new skin under there, teacher. It might be a, a lighter color, but there's new skin under there, teacher. It's like new. That's right, boys and girls. So remember... Necronomicon is an energy of your melanin that is the energy of birth, life, death, and rebirth. You are Necronomicon. It's a way to describe your melanin. Great, teacher. I can remember that. I can remember the scarab beetle and the word scab. That's right, boys and girls. That's your lesson for today. Now we're at 4 minutes and 40 seconds. I think I explained it to you. Now, I know we're going to have some concrete-headed people that are going to try to, you know, uh, come up with a way to 
break this the logic of what I just said obviously if you get a larger cut boys and girls obviously well first of all that shouldn't be happening because you know in the ancient times you didn't have cars you didn't have car accidents you didn't have murder you didn't have all this effery however and you didn't even have surgery because they did it by frequency. If they felt something was out of balance, that was what the onk and, and the different wands are for, by frequency. But anyway, that, those people were on a God level. So anyway, obviously, if you um, cut the body deeply, you will need stitches, right? You will need staples, right? But still, your body's doing that same process. It is doing the Necronomicon process is what I, what I would like to call it right now. It's a Necronomicon process. It grows over. It grows over uh, in death, really. The dead cells grow over together. And they cover up. You know, it's like putting dirt on top almost, you know. And then after some time, your body will heal and that scab will come off. That's it. If you have some kind of question, you are free to question or comment below. That ends part two of Necronomicon as far as anything that I want to say about it. But, oh, remember, remember. That is how they're calling you nig Negro, <laughs> Negro, Negro, but they shifted a little bit. Negro is from Negronomicon, Necronomicon, but they changed it. It's, you know, when you, when you start to know this stuff, like I have listened to every single thing Bobby Hammett has put out because I got on the frequency, it, it seems like two, ten years it is 10 years from, it's 10 years ago. Um, and I just listened to everything, every single one of his lectures, and I had time to do it. Once you, once you get all this background knowledge, everything else just comes together. You, 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 you just realize, I mean, the ancestors are just telling you, hey, but, you know, Necronomicon, is coming. That's how they're calling you Negro today. I think Bobby Hemet said that too. But see, what I'm doing right now in these audios is totally free base think thinking. I'm just talking. Be I'm just talking now. I'm just gonna start picking up this thing. Uh, before I was like, oh no, try to gather a topic, make a theme, you know, make it theme based, you know, only talk about Osiris or something. And now I'm like, you know what? Don't have time for that. Get on this phone, make an audio. You don't need pictures. Get the information out. That's it. Get the information out. So. That was Necronomicon part two. And actually, I have another one. I have another old video on Necronomicon, but, you know, um, I don't know if I'm going to. It takes time to be linking up old, you know. It takes time to grab another, um, you know, grab another video, link it in here, you know, make other connections. Just... Accept the information, and if you have the time, you will look up something further. Later, I will try to put a link to the movie that I'm talking about. Um, it's called The Walking Dead, and I never even saw that movie. I mean, I never even heard about it. Like, everything in the 80s and 90s, I'm like, I was unaware. So... Whenever that movie came out, I didn't even know about it. I just looked at a review of it. It's very awesome. So that ends another episode of what I learned from Bobby Hammond. And even, you know what, I'm going to tell you, even right now, the the celebrities and, and all of that, 
I don't have a TV. I don't, you know, um, I don't have TV. I don't have a cable. I don't even, there's so many new rappers and so many stupid, idiotic people that they're bringing out on the puppet stage. I don't know anything about these people until they get sacrificed. Or they're in the news so much, like YouTube videos are being made about them, that I finally look at what the heck, what is this drama? But it, but I'm really old. I mean, I'm late to to understand what the drama is. I mean, the drama happened probably a year ago, and I'm just now looking at it and reviewing the thing. Like the thing with Tiny, Tiny and um, whatever, T.I., which I don't even know what T.I. stands for. But anyway, the, the, their whole life and everything, I never even knew about them at all. I never knew about them. I don't know his music. <laughs> I don't know this little tiny lady. But, all right. And I don't even know what what the outcome of their latest drama is. So that ends another episode. I will edit that out. The end.